this video, I'm going to show you how to enhance and customize your split screen layouts. But if you missed the first video, make sure to check that out first because that's where I explain the best way to create these split screen layouts like a boss. and save them as presets. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use position and scale to mess with the look of your split screen. So I'm going to start with scale and what's the beauty of doing it this way is if we click on this first one and we just drop this down to like 60, every single one of these is going to adjust and just kind of fit right back into place to be lined up exactly perfect again, whatever you change their scale to. And then let's say you don't like the position of any of them. You can also just move this along. Like if you want to switch these around, you can just move this one over and click on this one and then move this one over too and place it over here. And I'm going to show you how to make a border later, but you could also go like this and create a little bit of a gap between them as well. And if you really want to mess with things, then just click on the word motion right here. That brings up the blue box that's around the crop here. And you can just go to the corner and manually scale and resize, click on it to move it into place. And you can do the same thing for the other ones by just clicking on them and just dragging them out to scale it up or down and move it wherever you want. The next tip that I'm going to show you is how to change your clips in the middle of your split screen. So for example, this one here, we're playing it like this and all of a sudden right there, boom. Boom, you looking for this? <laughs> the cassette one ends. I don't have any footage left of that one, but the record one is still going. So we want to place a clip in here to replace this tape clip over here. So what you do is you click here and you drag in your video to the open spot right here that follows your original clip. Then you're going to click on your original clip. You're going to go up to here and you're going to go edit and copy or control C. And then you're going to click on the other clip, the new one, and you're going to go edit and paste attributes or control alt V. And when this comes up, you have a decision to make. If you have done any other maneuvering or positioning or scaling or anything, you want to leave this motion checked because you want it to apply to that one as well. But if you just want the transform and crop effect to be applied and then nothing else, make sure you uncheck the other things here and click OK. And now boom. Shoots it and boom goes the dynamite. That clip is going to fit right in and have the same attributes that this one did. So when we play it, it'll go from that one right into the other one. And of course, the other way you can do it, if we get rid of transform off of here and crop to put this one back to normal, is to now go to your split screen presets over here, find the side by side split, drag the right one on and you are ready to go. Tip number three is going to be how to mix horizontal and vertical splits in the same scene. So for this one, I kind of like the DJ one. <laughs> And I think these two look ugly in a horizontal look like this. So I'm going to mess with these ones. So click on one of them. I'm going to start with the drum one and just go down here. And instead of bottom at 67, you just have to look at the opposite one. So DJ is the opposite one. It's also 67. So that's one we're keeping. So we just have to add up to 100 on that instead. So for this one now, I'm going to go to 33 instead, cropping off the bottom so it matches up there. And then I'm just going to crop from the right 50 just to make it an even at the top. But I can mix that up as well, right? I can go to like, let's say 60 on that one and then do the same thing we did before and just reposition. So I'm going to get my drummer in place there and kind of move them down like that. And then for guitar, that's the original one that had 30 off, 33 off the top and 33 off the bottom. Well, we want to keep the 33 off the bottom because that's this. And off the top, we're just going to put that back to zero. And we could just leave it like that if we want, but let's match it with drum. So for drum, remember I took off 60 from the right. So for a guitar, I am going to go here and I'm going to go 40 off the left and then just go up and maneuver it into place over here. And there you go. You have a split screen that's mixing horizontal and vertical splits. The next thing that I'm going to show you is three different ways to make a border. So this first one's really easy and it's just using position right here. So you click on your top clip and instead of just clicking and dragging like this, you want to make sure that the gap is kind of even on both sides. So let's undo that and you're just going to remember a couple numbers here. So just know that whatever you add to this one, so let's say like 20, so I'm going to make this one 1940 now and that one moves this one to the right 20. 
Then you go to this other one, the bottom one, and you're gonna take 20 away. So 1900, boom. And you have a border that is equal kind of crops on both edges here. You can also create a gap border by just increasing your crop numbers here. So if I bump this one to 66, you can see it did it a little bit, but I would do the exact same thing to the other one. So if you add one, then just add one to the other side as well to create a nice even gap. Now, if you wanna change the color of the line, just highlight both clips, drag them up, then go over here, slide this over until you see this little folded paper new item thing, click on that and select color mat. Then click OK and select the color that you want. So let's say white, call it white, and then over here, drag that underneath your clips and then now it will be white. Another way to create a border is by using an effect called radial shadow. So just drag that onto your clip and then scroll down below crop in your effect controls and you'll see it down here. The first thing I would do is change shadow color to white so it'll be easier to see and I would crank up the opacity. And then all you're doing is playing around with light source. So same thing as above, this is left and right and this is up and down. So I'm just gonna click and drag this to the right until I see it, there it is. So then the more I go, the thicker the shadow is, the less I go, the skinnier it is obviously. So play around until you get what you like. The only problem with this one is that if you are gonna go and mess around with your crop in any way, so if I move this, you can see that as you crop it there, it gets thicker, and if I crop it this way, it disappears. So don't use this if you know you're gonna animate any sort of crop, but if you know that you're just going to move it, like you're just gonna push move your clip, then the line stays the same and you can use it that way. And just so you know, you can put a border all the way around your video with this effect as well. I think the easiest way to do it is just to crop a little bit on each side and then go down here to your light source and move it around until it gets kind of close enough to being in the middle and then adjusting your projection distance. But I would make sure to try and set my position up here first, even though you can maneuver it within the box a little bit, if you go too far, then it starts to crunch down again. A third way to create borders is to draw the lines yourself and then put them over the seams where the clips meet. So to do that, just go up to graphics, go to new layer and go over to rectangle. And a rectangle will pop up here. Make sure you go down to your selection tool right here. And that allows you now to adjust your dimensions here. So sometimes it doesn't allow you to drag, just go to the other side and drag and just shrink it down to the size that you want and you know stretch it out. <laughs> Do whatever you have to do here to make it uh, the proper size. Zoom in if you need to. So if you need to go and zoom in more. And then you're just going to place it. Just place it over the line. So I'm going to go back to fit here. Make sure it stretches all the way beyond. And you're good to go. If you can't see it here, mine just showed up right here. So make sure you stretch it so it lines up over top of all of your clips here. I'll, I'll zoom in for that. You know, you can make sure it's the same like duration as this. So it covers it the whole time. And then if you want to do it the other way to make sure it's the same, just click on your clip, hold Alt and drag up. So now you're gonna have a copy of that one. And then on this one, just click on it, go over to rotation and switch this to 90 and it'll show up like that. And then what I like to do is click on uniform scale right here, unclick it and just go to scale width. Oh, whoops, Bruh. not width in this case cause I flipped it around, go to scale height and just stretch it out like that. And then now when we click away and we watch it, you can see that there's the black lines on your clips. Now I should have showed you this before, but to change the colors, you should do that before you duplicate it and, uh, and flip it around. But to change what color it is, all you do is you click on it and you go here to the drop down where it says shape and you can just click here and change it. So if we wanted to make it white again, then click on white and you can do the same thing for the other one. And then just to make sure I would zoom in again and just make sure that this one is actually on the line properly. You can also use this same technique by going to graphics, new layer and rectangle to make a border that will go all the way around one of your clips as well. Just make sure that you go look down here, you drag it below the clip and then when you click on it, make sure you're on your selection tool, click on it 
and then you can resize to have the box go all the way around the edge of your clip. But if you plan on animating this box or moving it around on your screen, I would suggest highlighting both of them like this, right clicking and nesting them first, and then just calling it box or whatever you're gonna call it. And now they are together. So now if I go over to position and move it around, they'll move together. The last thing that I'm gonna show you is how to make your splits uneven, so not 50-50. To do that, you just have to change these numbers in here. So if I change this one to let's say 65, then this top one would have to be over here and you'd have to drop this one down to 35 so they add up to 100 and then they will, they will match there. Now that's obviously pretty easy when you only have two clips, but what if you have four clips or a more complicated layout? Well, then you have to work with your clips in tandem and adjust their crops together. You never stir on my bike, are you? Yeah. So let's just take this cassette one, for example, and I'm gonna work with the turntable. So this one over here. So if you do that, you gotta go cassette and you gotta say that it's cropped on the bottom here. So I'm gonna go here to the bottom. And if I change this to, let's say, 35%, uh, we'll use the same numbers as I did the other time and turntable then I would have to go to the top here and I would have to make sure that that is 65, so it goes in tandem. But now you can see we have two problems. One is the size of this cassette one, so I can fix that easy by clicking on it and going over to transform and you know I gotta scale it up now and then move it into place, so that's almost big enough, so something like that. Um, but then we have the line, right? So we have to go back to this. It was the horizontal line right here. And I'm just going to take this one. I'm just gonna to go to position and slide this over to there. And then I'm just gonna slide this up a little bit so you can see. And then we're just gonna hold Alt and drag this one up, the horizontal one. Now we have an extra one that I can move down and we're gonna go the complete opposite way and just slide it over there and now we have a brand new split screen that's not identical, that they are different sizes. The only thing you'd have to do is fix up this turntable one because it's kind of chopped off and just kind of move it down and then you're perfect. Boom. All right, so that's my top five ways to customize split screen layouts. But if you wanna learn how to animate your split screens or create diagonal split screens, make sure to check out the other videos I have linked in the description below. If you got something out of this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.